everyone, it's Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. I recently posted this card on my social media and I got a lot of requests for people wanting to know how I created the pineapple background and also how I did the punch art for the hula monkey. So in this video, I'm gonna show you both of those things. So let's go ahead and get started on today's card. So to begin, I'm gonna be working with the classic letters alphabet set. This is not in our catalog, but it is a part of our online exclusives. And I'll be using the letter O. So I'm gonna take our new bubble bath pink. I'm going to ink up that letter O and then I'm going to stamp it onto my basic white cardstock. Next I'm going to be using an image from the Little Monkey stamp set. I'll be using this leaf image here and so for that I'm going to use a post-it note and I'm going to cover up the O and then I'm going to take that image. I'm going to ink it up with my black ink and then I only want the top of that to stamp okay so I want to make sure that I try to keep the the bottom leaves on the post-it note okay and when you peel it up it's gonna look like that all right then I'm going to take a green stamp and blend marker and I'm going to go ahead and color in the top of the crown like that and then for the base of the pineapple I'm gonna take the bu uh, bubble bath pink and I'm gonna color in the letter And then I'm going to take a dark crumb cake and I'm going to just draw lines across like this. Okay, and that is how I created the pineapple background. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, put pineapples all over this piece. I'm gonna just basically do that by randomly stamping this letter in different directions. Now, when you're doing this though, you wanna make sure that you have room for your crown. So for me, I find that it's easier to just go one at a time like this and then I can see the different directions that I want my pineapples to go in. It's okay if each crown looks a little bit different um, and then of course we want them going in different directions so I'm going to turn this one upside down and then I'm just going to continue to do this until I've covered the whole card with pineapples. <laughs> is done and now we are ready to assemble the hula monkey so this is actually really really simple um, so we're gonna start with the um, little monkey from the little monkey stamp set I'm gonna stamp that on a piece of white cardstock I'm gonna color it with three stamp and blend markers I'm gonna start with light crumb cake for the face the light pecan pie for the body and the dark bubble bath for the ears and for the cheeks. Okay, so the monkey is colored and now we are gonna do all the punch art and the beauty of this uh, hula monkey is that all the punch art comes out of one punch. Okay, so I'm gonna take the punch and first we're gonna punch out the monkey. All right, so I punched out the monkey, and now to do the punch art, we can use this punch. You can see it has a banana and other um, pieces on here to build a monkey out of paper. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a hula skirt and a coconut bra all using this punch. So first for the coconuts, we're gonna just punch two of these little circles. They're done, that's done. And then using garden green, I'm gonna punch this, which is the face of the monkey. So you'll see that if we were to try to build that monkey, um, this would have been the shape of the face. And this is what we're gonna to use to create the hula skirt. So it's very simple. There's not a lot of measuring or anything. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, and I'm going to turn it. And so you can see where there's this part that goes in right there. So I'm going to just cut that off straight across, and then I'm gonna turn it around and on the rounded side here, I'm just going to scoop it. So just cut in and cut back out. So it creates the shape of a skirt. And then I'll just take my snips and I'm just going to add some little snips across here to create the leaves of my tea leaf skirt for our little hula monkey. Okay, so the skirt is done. You can 
measure it, decide if you want to trim it at all, and then we're going to go ahead and put this together using some liquid glue. Okay, and then of course the hula monkey needs a flower, so again, we can use a flower from the Loose Flower Flourishes, which would be the easiest way, or out of the Zany Zoo dyes, you can create this little flower. So I got one out of pink, and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on. You can do it with a dimensional, just for time's sake here. I'm gonna go ahead and just glue it right on there. Okay, and then there is a hole in the center so we can add an embellishment, and then I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this card. Okay, so to assemble the card, I have a folded, card base that's four and a quarter by 11 of bubble bath pink. Then I'm going to take and put a four by five and a quarter piece of bubble, bubble bath pink. And I'm just gonna create a second layer, same color on top of color, so that we have a little pink frame on this. Of course, the, this card was um, designed for a friend who loves pink pineapples. So I wanted to, she loves pink, so I wanted to create and make everything as pink as possible. So that's why I have a double layer of pink and a bunch of pink pineapples. So if you follow me by now, you know that I often create um, projects based on who I'm gonna give them to um, or, it, or maybe a gift, because my, my love language is gift giving. And so I often will create things that will go with a gift and I like everything to be all matchy matchy. So when I'm thinking of the person I made this card for, I know that she loves pink pineapple. So that's why um, this card is looks the way that it does. Then I have a one and a quarter by three and three fourths strip of bubble bath. And that's gonna go across the center. And then for the uh, monkey on the original card, I created this with the stitched rectangle dies, which are now retired. So I have our brand new nested essential dies, which I love. So I'm gonna go ahead and substitute those on this card and hopefully the sentiment will fit. I actually didn't even test this. It looks like it's gonna be a perfect fit. So just swinging by to say hi, we'll go on the bottom. And our little hula girl will be mounted on top of the sentiment using some dimensionals. And I like that word swing, swinging because she is a little dancing hula girl. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use an embellishment for the center of the flower like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to the back. Mount this to my parakeet party green, which is also from those nested essential dyes. And then I'll flip this over add dimensionals to the back and place that on there okay and there you go you have your punch art uh, hula girl with your pink pineapple background so well, I had a lot of fun sharing this idea with you I hope that you'll come back and stamp with me again real soon until then aloha